bandits. If they cannot be declared as terrorists, they should be declared as Boko Haram affiliates. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Now the news in details. Almost a month ago, both chambers of the National Assembly passed motions urging President Buhari to declare bandits as terrorists. But they have not been declared terrorists for some reason. Although not declaring bandits as terrorists are inhibiting our troops' ability to fight them, for example, it has reported that the U.S. has stipulated that the A-29 Super Tucano jets recently sold Nigeria can only be used on terrorists, so they cannot be deployed on bandits because they are not officially terrorists. Now, what is really going on? What is going on? What is really going on? Why does... I do not understand. This is exactly what I was talking about. You don't declare people who carry out acts of terrorism. Not just people. These people come out to tell you that they, they know that they did it. They surrender to the Nigerian army. And they say, yes, we committed those acts. Yes, we killed, we raped, we maimed, we wrecked havoc, we burnt down houses, we gave people life trauma, we snatched away parents from their children and children from their parents. We killed people, but we are sorry and we have repented. We will not do it again. And what did the government do in this case? What did they do? They welcomed them home and even give them, I mean, uh, uh, they give them employment. Let's go back to the news. It will take a little more pain to study and understand the criteria for declaring a group as a terrorist. It would be helpful to understand the implication in hurriedly declaring and gazetting just any group as a terrorist organization. Below are tangible reasons bandits should not be prescribed. 1. International consequences. Declaring any group as a terrorist organization has more implication than you think. It has international consequences for financing, providing logistics, intel, supplies, cover, etc. by individuals, organizations, and institutions. Should the federal government declare these non-related groups as terrorists, the international community may be unable to join the coalition as the Appalachian terrorists fall far short of a global definition. Nigerian bandits have no structure. Such a group shall have a defined structure and organization. These bandits exist, but they are amorphous and operate as silos. Free, they have no identity. The group shall have an identity, name, insignia, symbol, color, or such like. These bandits do not meet this criteria. Are they alternative? Yes. They can be declared as cells, appendages, or affiliates, or whatever, of the terrorist group Boko Haram. Nigeria should not misunderstand the minimum benchmark for some of these issues. Some think that the administration is treating them with kid gloves. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you serious? There should be a flag. There should be a color. There should be a symbol. Wow! Just wow! <laughs> this is laughable. And it is very tragic. So in essence now, what I'm trying to say is that it is easier for you to come out and say these protesters, these agitators, now the Yoruba nation and the Biafra nation now, because they have a color, because they have a symbol now, they are the terrorists. Is that it? This is wonderful. Huh? These criteria are wonderful. So when, oh my goodness, when does stating the fact that I am being marginalized, I am being oppressed, and I am being done injustice, or injustice has been done to me. And because I hold, I, I, <laughs> I present myself as a color and a symbol, and just channeling my grievances. For that reason, I'm declared a terrorist. Wonderful. I thought they, I thought they would even say they kill and they burn. None of them are in the criteria. This is wonderful, wonderfully tragic. No, this is not nice. So it is easier for the federal government to say that this particular people now called the bandits are not terrorists. But because this secessionist group, these agitators, these protesters, 
protesting against nothing but bad governance, protesting against inequity, protesting against ethnicism and tribalism in government, protesting against nepotism and favoritism, protesting against the use of religion, protesting against the fact that there is no supremacy of the law or rule of law, that they are the ones now that meet the criteria of being called terrorists. Wow. Welcome to Nigeria. Welcome to Nigeria where when I go out to eat, when I get, go out to say my grievances, this thing is not right in every shade. It is in every shade of wrong, wrong, and I am called a criminal. Welcome to Nigeria where I am done injustice to and I run to the law to protect me. The law takes me and punishes me and embraces my oppressor. Louding him and praising him and encouraging him to oppress me the more. Welcome to Nigeria where I, I am beaten. The police punishes me for no crime done at all. I am battered. And even when I come out to say I have done nothing wrong and the police are doing this against me, they do more against me. Welcome to Nigeria where bandits are given food. No. They are given, they are, they, are, they are welcomed and they dine with kings and princes. And at the end of the day, they ask them, do you want juice or champagne to take the food down with, to passenger the food down with? And after that, they are given a means of living where the government pay them. Welcome to Nigeria. How are we supposed to be living in this kind of a country? Is this country supposed to be so unsafe for its citizens? Since this is now the criteria now, that color and symbol are attached, and not the fact that people's lives have lost, people have lost their lives, that they have wrecked havoc, unbelievable traumas on people. They have caused people to curse the day that they were born. They were cursed children, snatched away childhood from children. Children can no longer play on the street. Children can no longer go to school. When my, our mothers go out and they are scared of what will happen the next minute, they go out with their hearts in their mouth on a daily basis. Where our soldiers are not given the right weapon to fight with these people and come out victorious. Rather, they are sent to die. Welcome to Nigeria. Is this the Nigeria we all want? This is bad. It is in all sense wrong. Saying that because these people do not have a color. Who even said they do not have a color symbol? Who said so? Who said? Have you made your findings and found out? Tomorrow, somebody will come and say these particular people that kill and maim and rape and slaughter people like animals, that they should be respected because they're human beings. Are you serious? This is unfair. And it's in every wrong, if in every shade wrong. It's every shade of wrong, wrong. It is sad that we'll find ourselves in such a Nigeria today. And those agitating for it, those agitating against it, are the ones that are called the enemies of a government. Welcome to Nigeria. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of the day.